hey everybody, they've done it again. An even bigger pack is now available, 100 US dollars for the Superstone bundle. And what it gives you is three of each of the small stone and the materials needed for you to turn those ones into the pretty much the half stone. So this is like a full fleet of half stones is what this pack buys you. Now, what you're wondering is, well, not all of you, but what some of you are wondering is, is this good value? Now, $100 for a full set of half stones. Uh, what this will give you, all the stones are going to be available in the game. This is pretty much just giving you a head start. Like a couple of weeks, a good few weeks head start for worth of building up your teams enough to progress in each event to get some of these stones, to get uh, enough materials to then invest into the stones so what you'll wear is probably where you'll be in like a month or more's time depending if, if you are a big spender anyway you'll probably have potentially enough characters to progress kind of far in the game if you've been spending a little bit you may not you may only have your main characters up but that all depends that all depends on on how much you've been spending, how wide a character range you've been spending on. If you've been just getting event characters, even then, as I mentioned, you'll also have, say, for Wilds, you'll have the Frozen 3, plus you might have Mordu, and that means you only need one other, and that's not too hard to get ready for the next event. If there are Mythical ones, then people might need Mythical, but then if you also did the last Frozen event, you might have Olaf, you might have Hades, you might have... And the list can go on, but... If you get ready for what we don't know what the other things are there is speculation that it might be Hades or Hades it might be mythical or oceanic so all we can do is be ready glue is trying to ever get everyone to have a reason to have a wide roster not just have one main team so it all depends do you want to progress in your sorcerers tournament and get gems or do you want to progress along all the other game modes so that is kind of what they're pushing people to choose between or just to spend to do everything. So that is the value of this pack. It is, it is say, a month or more's worth of progress within the stone abilities is what I would call it. Now, if you've got all the characters up ready, then you may not need this pack. You'll, when events come around, you'll be able to get enough to potentially upgrade a stone. But... It all depends on its value to you. Having having a flawed stone over a chip stone is going to go from your five percent up to your ten percent. So it's going to double the the increase that you would have got, but it's still only five percent difference. So if you don't have them, you can still use your chip stones. You can still use those, and you can compete. And just because someone's got a bigger stone doesn't mean you can't take them down. Do they help? Yes, but. It's, it's all on the way you see it and how, if you're a better player, you can still play better. Now, if they are a good player, though your opponents are good players and they have the stones, then that is also when you have get into a bit of trouble. But that that's also going to depend on, is it worth it for you then? Or are you just going to play without such a big monetary investment? Because um, nobody needs to buy these. It's only for those who KA can afford to and want to save that time, that couple of months time to get the access right now and play around with them. So that that is the bonus of what it is. Now, what I will mention is with the stones, it is probably not really worth not really worth uh, upgrading the stones unless unless I'm putting an unless in here, unless you have a lot of stones. So if you've only got like say three, four or five stones and that's all you've got, five chip stones, it's not really using th worth using three of those, five percenters to make one 10 percent stone and then the rest of your team lacks. Now where this is good is that it's going to give all of the stones so you have all of the 10 percenters so you can at least not be at disadvantage for upgrading the stone. So that's... That is where cumulatively the, the damage stacks or the buff stacks will be good. So I'll leave that with you all. I want to hear from you in the comments below what you think of these packs. Are you getting them? Are you not getting them? Are you opposed to them? Um, and saying that after a few months time, yes, people might get an advantage 
for a while. But when people start catching up and do progress in each of the different events for stones, you'll be able to catch up again. It's, as I said, your people will be paying for a few months progress or a few months worth of progress. So in the end, it's not going to matter too much. Yes, a month might seem like a long time for some people, but once you've been playing this or you stick on, if, if you plan sticking into the long term for this game, you're going to catch up. You're going to be there. There, there. there is a cap. It's like the level cap. There is going to be a cap where everyone's going to catch up to. We've been at that cap for a long time. The beta players have been at that cap for a long time, and everyone, everyone in global is nearly already caught up. So does it matter? you're, you're pay, paying people can pay for progress but everyone else can still catch up so just keep that in mind have have that in mind when you're doing this now these smaller packs are they worth it i would say the only one that would be worth it 20 dollars us for the attack stone now if you consider this this is enough yet again for making a whole uh, flawed stone the second level stone so 20 dollars for a second level that to me potentially could be worth it but getting getting one two three four five six seven you can get seven stones for the price of a hundred dollars is that worth it yes that is that is a whole lot better value than a twenty dollar pack so if you think the twenty dollar value packs are good then this one is good now granted the purple stones are nearly useless um let's just say that in a, in a nice way they're, they're not great that you don't have to use them you've only got five characters so you can use the speed one the the damage two the defense on your tank three you can use the crit four the crit chance sorry and you can use the health five and all those under the right circumstances are great with a recovery stone under the right circumstances on the right character can be good now it just depends on you if that's value for you or not so let me know i can't wait to get down the comments hear from you all and this is pretty nuts though pretty nuts